Hey guys, Mike Chen here. Today we will be talking about one of my favorite foods, the hot pot. The origin of the hot pot is uncertain. Some say it originated in Mongolia and spread to China during the Tang Dynasty. Others say they found evidence of hot pot as far back as the Shang Dynasty over 2000 years ago. But come on, let's be fair, right? I mean, what hot pot really is, is just cooking food in a boiling pot of water. So who knows when it originally started? I mean, cavemen could have had stone hot pot with slices of mammoth, who knows? Well, like I said, I absolutely adore hot pot and most of you are probably most familiar with the Yuanyang hot pot, which is half spicy and half non-spicy. By the way, if you're wondering, Yuanyang or Mandarin ducks are male and female birds that throughout Chinese history represents love between two people. So you know, to really be in love with someone, one of you really needs to love spicy food and the other one, you can't stand it, all right? This way your life will always be in balance. Like I said, many of you are probably more familiar with the Yuanyang hot pot, but did you know that there are many more types of hot pots out there that you might not have heard of? <gasps> you mean there's more hot pots out there that I haven't tried? I must have them. Oh, by the way, just a warning, don't watch this video on an empty stomach. Number one, Chongqing Ma La Guo or Chongqing Numbing Spicy Hot Pot. This is the granddaddy of all hot pots and arguably the most popular pot for spicy lovers. Chongqing is a city within Sichuan province and is nicknamed the capital of hot pots. It's the mecca people. The soup base for this hot pot is filled with hot peppers and peppercorn for numbness. All right, speaking of peppercorn, if you do not know what that is, just a warning. Never chew it, spit it out. Forget table manners, just spit it out. I'll tell you guys a funny story. I was eating at a Sichuan restaurant with a few of my white friends and it was their first time. All of a sudden, one of them looks at me and I notice he has something in his mouth and he's just chewing on it. He's, he asked me, hey Mike, what is this interesting round thing? It's making my mouth numb. Spit it out. Beijing style lamb hot pot. This hot pot originated in the Qing dynasty over 200 years ago when emperors Kangxi and Qianlong served this pot during imperial feasts. This pot is mainly about eating the lamb. The lamb is cut paper thin. Every piece is cut to perfection with the perfect amount of fat and lean meat and cooks very quickly and melts in your mouth. Guizhou Suan Tang Guo or Guizhou Sour Soup Hot Pot. Guizhou is a province located in southwestern China and the sour soup hot pot is its specialty. There is even a folk song made about this hot pot which goes, Sour Soup, Sour Bachelor. Sour Bachelor, listen to the beautiful maiden and you will feel warmth. Palm trees will not bear fruit in March. September grass bears no sweet scent. If there is love, mountain spring water will turn into great wine. If there is no love, great wine will turn into sour soup. Now this is really intriguing. What this song is really saying is, I, I actually have no idea. Something about wine turning into sour soup and then a palm tree, I, I don't know. But because Guizhou is very humid and food spoils easily, locals learn to preserve food by using substances like vinegar, which is why many foods in Guizhou will taste sour. Canton Kanji Hot Pot. Cantonese are famous for creating delicious soups as well as kanji, so why not put them together? This is exactly what this hot pot is. A mix of kanji with hot pot soup. Almond Dolo or Macau Bean Scoop. The name of this hot pot is a bit deceiving. This hot pot actually originated in Hong Kong. It is also called Hong Kong hot pot. Dolo literally means bean scoop. But in this case, dolo sounds like dolo or everyone scoop. It's used to symbolize everyone scooping from the hot pot and scooping up luck and fortune. Some say it's called dolo because of the English word dollar and people in Macau love the dollar so dolo. This hot pot specializes in its ingredients which are all of the highest quality. Also meatballs are made for this hot pot from fish and shrimp and said to be absolutely spectacular. Yue shi da bian lu or Cantonese edge furnace. Like we said Cantonese people love soup so this hot pot has some of the tastiest soup base. The pot is filled with seafood and meat. It also has an assortment of fish and meatballs. The meatballs made from beef is a 
especially tasty. Dongbei Suan Cai Bai Rou Lao Tan Huo Guo, or Northeast Sour Cabbage Pork Coal Burning Hot Pot. This hot pot is heated by burning coal, so never eat this at home. It features homemade sour cabbage and delicious slices of pork. Then you add some tofu and seafood and let it boil until the flavor seeps into the cabbage. Anyone else's mouth watering at this point? I don't know if I can finish this video. I might need a hot pot break. Yunnan Dianwei Huo Guo, or Yunnan Flavored Hot Pot. Yunnan is a province located in southwestern China. This hot pot focuses on fresh vegetables. Uh, so maybe we can skip over this one. I mean, I don't like vegetables stealing like spotlight away from, you know, meat. But this hot pot will always include sliced sausage and paper thin beef, pork, chicken, and fish. So I guess it's okay. The vegetables are highlighted by fresh mushrooms, wood ear. Oh, I love wood ear. Every time I watch Pinocchio, I get hungry for wood ear. Get it? No. Zhang Shi Huo Guo, or Tibetan style hot pot. The Tibetan hot pot soup base is very light on flavor, and all soup base are made with yak bones. The difference between the Tibetan hot pot and other hot pot is that you don't just sit there and throw in what you want to eat, rinse it around, and then take it out and eat it. For Tibetan hot pot, you take yak meat, beef meatballs, radishes, tofu, among other ingredients, you put them all in the pot and cook them all together until they are all done. You eat it with a Tibetan Tibetan hot sauce and a cup of special wine. Alright, this one might grow some of you out. Shi Huo Guo or Snake Hot Pot. There is a special place in China everyone goes to for snake hot pot near Fujian. The soup base is made from either snake, rabbit, or pheasant bones. Here the snake skin and meat are separated. You can take the skin, wrap it with some mushrooms, sausage, and then dip it into the pot. The meat is supposed to taste better than any other land animal. I don't know, because I don't think I could eat a snake. And finally, Ju Hua Huo Guo, or Chrysanthemum Flower Hot Pot. This is a very special hot pot from Jiangxi, China, where chrysanthemum flowers are washed and put into the hot pot soup while the meat is being cooked. The scent of the flowers would seep into the meat, making it even more aromatic and delicious. So I am definitely ready to go stuff my face in a hot pot, but, you know, I shouldn't because hot pots are boiling pots of water and you shouldn't stick your face in that. There is a really good hot pot place in New York City and I will make a video about it at some point to show you guys soon. And I am really jealous of LA people because in my opinion hot pots taste better and they're cheaper over in LA. I actually went to a place that the hot pot was I think like five or six dollars for all you can eat hot pot. No joke. And it actually tastes really really good. And guys I know other Asian countries have their own unique hot pots and we will cover those some other time. Anyway tell me what your favorite hot pot is in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. I'll see you again next time.